Hello everyone, Coach Barry here. It's been a while since you've heard from me on this channel, and to be honest, I've had trouble coming up with what to post. This week, though, it became apparent that I had to say something about the events of the week. You may notice I'm wearing an Atlanta Braves shirt, and that is what the events of the week are about. This week, Braves country, it's been a rough one. We lost both Don Sutton and Hank Aaron in the same week, just days apart. We'll start with Don Sutton and we'll go on to Hank Aaron since he did in fact pass first. Don Sutton died at the age of 75 on Tuesday night, or rather on Monday, but it was announced on Tuesday, after a battle with cancer. To me, Don Sutton is the voice of the Atlanta Braves. He was the one I most look forward to hearing when I would listen to games on radio because in West Virginia you only had the radio for Braves games you didn't have especially when the team wasn't doing all that well you didn't have them on national TV all the time so I grew to know and love Don Sutton's voice and I wrote it about it on social media the day it happened uh, after we found out and I said that his charm, his wit, and his knowledge and love of the game of baseball shone through in every inning he called, and I believe every single word I said. Because, you see, Don has Don forgot more about pitching than most people will ever know in their life. And he showed that. But he had a way of relating it to where he wasn't just sitting there talk. He wasn't just sitting there saying, this is what happens on a 1-2 count with the bases uh, empty, and this is what happens on a 1-1 one -one count if I got a man on second and a right-handed hitter at the plate. He found a way to make it conversational. He found a way to make it as if he was just talking to you sitting right here in this living room that I'm in now. And that's what really made him special. I like every member of the Braves broadcast scene, but I genuinely loved hearing Don Sutton talk. I remember listening to pregame shows and having him hearing him break down the pitching matchup that day. And that was a real treat because as a former pitcher, he knew a lot of stuff about it and he knew how to, bring it, you know, how to get it across. And he had that Southern charm, man. Being born in Alabama, broadcasting for the Southern team, it just it felt right. I don't know if there's any other organization, maybe the Dodgers, because he had so much success there, that uh, <clears throat> it would have been... Uh, that it would have been uh, a natural well, a, a fit for him to call games for. And speaking of the Dodgers, he broke in to a, a rotation that already had the great Sandy Koufax in it. <laughs> Isn't that something? And all he did in LA was just, he pitched every fifth day, he never missed a start to the injury. And when he retired after 23 seasons in the bigs, he had the most, he had the fourth most strikeouts in, uh, in Major League history at the time. He's third behind Cy Young and Nolan Ryan for the most games pitched in the Major Leagues. He was the definition of consistency on the mound, just as Hank Aaron was the definition of consistency at the plate. Well, most know Hank Aaron for what he did with his home runs. Not many people realize that he also has the baseball records for the most career RBI most career extra base hits, and most career total bases. Which, if you know anything about baseball, means what? He's hitting for average as well as hitting for power. He can just easily get on base as he can drive it out of the ballpark, which he did 755 times in his career. Which, to me, is the true home run champion. Not Barry Bonds. And I'm not alone in that. There are several people that believe that to be true. So... This, it, it's been a very weird week. It, it really has because for some of us younger who didn't get a chance to see Hank Aaron and have that connection with radio, Don Sutton hits hard. But you're talking about a bona fide legend, one of the all time probably, Hank Aaron's probably on the Mount Rushmore of baseball, if we're being completely honest. And when you lose such a gigantic figure like him in not only our sport, but also your favorite team and your organization that you are so proud of the history of. It hits. And it hit hard this week. 
when we found out that Hank had passed, and following up was Don Sutton dying. So, this is one of those videos where I didn't plan it. I just felt like there are some things that just have to be said, and there are some things that you just have to acknowledge. And this this week is one of them. And it is in fact a story. It is a story that hits home for myself and many others across Braves country and the baseball community as a whole. These two men help shape my baseball fandom. And it is because of them, in many ways, the Atlanta Braves or the organization they are today the team they have today. So ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't trying to make this about me because it's not. This is about the legacy that these two men leave behind and this is about the memories that Braves fans and baseball fans have because of them. And in many ways, with them. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach Barry for Coach Barry Sports Stories. Thank you for watching.